Hi, Statesman Nation. Uh, here with Clayton Norberg, defensive coordinator here for our uh, Statesman football team. Uh, Clayton, it's going to be an interesting week uh, in yes, two days. Um, talk about, um, you know, basically looking at yourselves in the mirror um, this weekend. You know, as uh, we are a triple option offense, we don't have the luxury of seeing a lot of fast-paced reps right. going one versus ones that many of the other defenses in the country might see on a week basis. Yeah. yeah. Um, so kind of now we've been lucky enough to sure. say, hey, Coach Half, uh, can we see our ones and our twos and get a, yeah. a live-action look at some sure. of the plays that we're seeing on Saturday. So we feel that, especially coming out of the bye week, that we right. went against our one some and the different things that we've been seeing, that we've actually had a great chance to prepare. Yeah. And our scout team is just running our stuff as well. So, yeah. you know, when they're, we're with them, we're seeing fast-paced reps. Sure. Our guys are... Um, getting a great look so it allows us right. to be fast and be ready and we feel like you know we've gotten there right well actually rewind a little bit you jumped right to the gun you yeah got right after it you were ready um we'll actually rewind to uh talk about the avila game just uh briefly um yeah. you know homecoming good win um I, I know there was times where maybe you guys probably felt like there was a bit of a letdown where you let them get, get back in the game but overall i mean you did what you needed to do offensively defensively there were a lot of a lot of good takeaways as well. Uh, just talk about that game um, briefly, and then we can talk about you know the bye week a little bit too. Absolutely. Well, as you, we are finding out in this in this league that top to bottom there are good yeah. teams, and yeah. uh, Avila showed up, and you know they right now their record shows that they're a lower level team, but that doesn't right. mean that they're not a good football team. Yeah. yeah. And I think our guys are finding that out more and more yeah. that you know the Mid States was a great conference, and we've moved right into another great conference. Right. Yeah. in the heart and that if we don't play well I mean we played a great first half and maybe came out at halftime thinking we've got these guys yeah. that these teams are very capable very good and they yeah. got us on the ropes a little bit in the third quarter and yeah. did some really good things against us so mm -hmm. you know we played well our guys responded and sure. um, offense really sparked it up too and sure. we you know, came out with a great win on homecoming had a great crowd right. it, was, it was a fun day yeah definitely um, it just seems like with this team anytime we face some adversity uh, for the most part, it's been all right. Just ratchet up a little bit. You know, yeah. we realize okay, now we have to start playing again, and, and we're veteran veteran team enough to be able to just turn it right back on, which is a good thing and a bad thing that yes. you can turn it off that easily, but we're able to turn it on that easily. As That's well. something we're kind of been preaching a little bit to them and putting right. a point of emphasis that it is great to be a resilient team. Yeah. It is great to um, answer the call of adversity, yeah. but. Why put ourselves in that situation? Yeah. Kind of come, let's come ready to play from the gun, you know, from yeah. start to finish, whistle to whistle. Let's right. be a team that plays a complete game, you know. And we're lucky enough that we have, you know, responded. Yeah. And I, you know, tally up the great leadership, yeah. not in just the coaches' parts. I know I think we set an example for our players, but we have great players that are setting a yeah. leadership example that's allowed our yeah. guys to respond and go play hard and do those things. Right, definitely. Um, in regards to the bye week, I obviously it works out nicely the way the the conference decided to set it up. I, I really like it. I think the you guys they as coaches really understand it as well. It makes a lot of sense. Let's get all the the games that are less meaningful right. done out of the way, and then every game from here on out it's really meaningful. Get that bye week in there, so you hopefully are back to square one health wise mm -hmm. coming into week technically seven. So um, talk about the bye week and and hopefully everybody getting about as healthy as you can get at this point um, and all that. Yeah, it, they set the schedule up for, um, as soon as I saw it and we knew what was going on that from day one I thought what a great job the heart did about yeah. giving everybody an equal opportunity with yeah. the, uh, the, the same bye week and going yeah. into your conference schedule and it all makes great sense and for us we did get some guys healthy. King yeah. and uh, King and Murphy was able to get healthy and um, practicing a couple, you know, this week, and so he's back at it. And there's yeah. a few other guys that not as serious of injuries, but bumps and bruises yeah. that we could rest and uh, kind of hook it up early last week, give them some sure. rest at the end of the week, and then get right back into it. And right. we got back on our weekly schedule, so this week we just approached it as if we played on Saturday and we came sure. in on Sunday and did all that and got our guys' bodies used to, you know, yeah. back in their routine. And we figured that's the best way to go about it. Sure, definitely. Um, a bye week is a difficult week because I mean you don't want to push them too hard because you kind of want to you know lay off. But in the same respect, you need to be getting ready for yeah. the following week. You don't want to just waste five days of practice or three or four, however many you guys have. Um, so how did you guys adjust to that or work through that and say, all right, we we need to keep it at a higher level even though we are trying to give you guys a break. Yeah, we we put a, the stress on early week. Like I right. said, that if we came out early last week 
and really got our reps and went ones versus right. ones and the twos versus twos and a lot of took advantage of the fact that it was a bye week on a triple option right. team that we could go hook it up and that we wouldn't have to right. practice a long time against our scout teams that we wouldn't we don't have we don't practice a long time anyway sure. so let's go get good fast reps meaningful reps and we got right. better than we can justify giving days off and sure. rest and those things and our guys responded great yeah. um we've had two great weeks of practice and i'd say one of the best weeks of practice ever especially coming out of a bye week this yeah. week yeah. um the guys are just kind of built on learning the what we've installed taking right. game plans and applying them and so it's been fun uh, you know, it's a fun team to be around anyway, but yeah. they are really doing responding to the bye week, which yeah. is always a scary thing. You never yeah. know how teams will you know, exactly. sleep on it. Yeah, definitely. Um, I mean, you guys have had now two weeks to, to look at Peru. I'm sure you're obviously looking internally a little bit, figuring out what do we need to do better, not just looking at the opponent. But, you know, two weeks to basically look at Peru. Um, it couldn't, and we've already kind of talked about this a second, but... This team couldn't be any more like us than they already are, um, and which really should defensively set up nicely for us. We do, you know, we're two of the best um, run defense teams yeah. in the nation, um, two of the best run offense teams yes. in the nation. Um, you know, we, we have unfortunately struggled against the pass, but they don't pass. No. They average like 80 yards a game. Right. So, you know, to a lesser extent, what we are, um, even. So, does that bring a little bit of added? confidence this week feeling like hey we we know we th this is our bread and butter we can right. stop this we, yeah. we, we you know we see it all the time you know so talk about that no we are confident against the option but it, again Prue State has their own wrinkles and they run it right. very well that you know we're not just thinking oh we're going to walk in and shut yeah. them down that you know the, it's a little different run than turning sure. off and handing running a pro or inside exactly. or outside zone there's a you know if you're not disciplined if you don't have a dive quarterback right. and pitch player every play uh, they'll find it. Yeah, and they'll yeah, find who's sure. not being disciplined. So we know that we have to be sound in that. And, you know, we've had our past game struggles. But even at times in the past game, the thing that I guess has been disappointing to me and us as coaches is that we haven't tackled well all right, the time. Right. And so that's kind of led to bigger plays in the exactly. passing game and where a five-yard game pass turned into 80. Right. I mean, that's happened yeah. not just once or twice. Yeah. And so, um, you know, in the option, a pitch can turn into it's 82 same, if you're not going to tackle. Right. Exactly. No, so you're not going to tackle yeah. well. So we we feel very good against the run. We're going to talk to right. Hunter here. It's the yeah. main reason why. But um, you know, if we don't do our assignments or we don't tackle well, which we've always right. keep harping on, then it'll it'll be a long day for us because they're yeah. a good football team. But sure. we, you know, we've prepared well and we're excited for the opportunity. Yeah, definitely. Um, so basically, key to success is. Tackle well and, and discipline. discipline. Absolutely. You know, That's, your, and then, you know, I think anybody would say that going against a triple option. Right. If you're not disciplined, they're going to exploit that. But tackle well uh, and be disciplined, be in the right spots. Right. And then, you know, we're going to do some things to try to change it up and sure. mix up their look. And just takes the guys to make sure they're in the right spots and execute that game plan. Definitely. Um, I, I feel like it's fairly safe to say that it's going to be, that it could be a low-scoring game. Yeah. When you have two teams that run it, which takes obviously takes a little bit longer to score when you're running versus passing, um, but both teams do very well against the run. Right. Um, so it, it's obviously, in, in my mind, has the potential to be a low-scoring game and has the potential to come down to whoever can hold on to the ball the best. I think it's going to come down to turnovers because it's going to be a very short game, too. I yeah, think everyone's right. yeah it's going to be a little over two our hours. Games go, our games go fast when there's a team throwing it all yeah. over the place. So with yes. two teams that are going to run the ball, it has potential of being just over two hours. Yeah, yeah. And so uh, turnovers are going to be huge because there's going to be limited amount of possessions. Right. So any more that we can you know, turn over to our offense and get them back the ball and give them another chance, or our offense can eliminate those opportunities and not give them another chance, right. it's going to be huge. And that's football in general, but yeah. I think – overemphasize in the fact of a sure. short, close, you know, yeah. short game. Yeah, definitely. Um, finally, uh, it's an ESPN3 game. Yeah. It's an Isles Media game, first of our, our two this this year. Um, you know, every week we're on some kind of, you know, yeah. some kind of internet. Straight. I mean, either that or we're even on MCG, um, you know, for home games. So the guys are always being seen potentially by anybody in the world. So um, has this game ramped up intensity for the guys thinking hey there's a you know we're on espn how cool is that all that or you guys keep doing a very good job of keeping it low key and yeah. it's just another game i think we've kept it pretty low key i think some kids realize it and others don't um 
really, you know, they're used to know people can watch right. it. And so they say, hey, you can watch it streaming on here, sure. but then it's a little different. Hey, you can watch it on ESPN3, yeah. which is a really neat thing, right. and the Heart right. of America has done a great job for that. And that's the one thing, like, maybe that'll help the lengthen the game a little right. bit. Yeah, exactly. That, that'll definitely and get it over two hours. And, 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 we'll get and, much and over. slow <laughs> it down a little bit. And stuff. Yeah. So it's just where that game goes. Yeah, so we're looking for sure. That actually might be a benefit to both teams and just right. like be able to catch your breath and exactly. that running, sure. that continuously running clock yeah. with the running the ball. But right. that's exciting. That, you know, I told some of the other people around here around campus even some of the basketball coaches yeah we'll be on ESPN3 and so it's a really exciting yeah, thing for our yeah. conference for the school and everybody yeah, okay. that they can do that yep well all right coach well thanks for sitting down for a few minutes uh, really weird Saturday game uh, it's gonna be two teams bashing heads for six uh, 48 minutes 60 yeah. minutes 60 minutes right and you know starting at 11 a.m. Yeah, 11 a.m. all sorts of weird things uh, yeah. with this game but it should be a lot of fun uh, over in Peru, Nebraska. So if you're not over there, I think they're having a tailgater early for an alumni thing. But definitely check out in one way, shape, or form. You can definitely check out That's the statesman right. on, on Saturday morning. So best of luck, Coach. Thank uh, get you. Get that first win in North Division and keep rolling. That's so, right. Thank you. All right. Thanks.